Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I'm very excited about this video because my version 4 solar PCBs have arrived. So I created them using Design Spark, or actually I edited them with Design Spark because version 3 was already there, of course, that I created uh, created over time. Then I went on to JLC PCB's website, which is shown just there, and I uploaded my Gerber files. Um, on the website you can change different things and you can actually have a look at your PCB as well, which is very good, not all websites do that. And uh, JLC PCB were the cheapest too. Now, uh, just to be a bit more transparent, I didn't actually pay for these um, these PCBs. JLC PCB did them for free for me. And, um, yeah, so far so good. Now, I've not actually opened these and I've not looked at them, so um, I'm excited. Let's get ready. Okay, so... Oh, it's already open. This is my trusty knife, and... Um, it's actually illegal to carry this knife around streets. Um, in the UK we have quite strict laws on, on weapons and blades uh, and guns and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is actually illegal. The reason why it's illegal is because it's a locking knife. It's not folding, it's locking. The blade locks in place so you could potentially do a great deal of harm to someone. So yeah, it's illegal. Uh, and also we have quite strict gun laws as well with quite severe penalties really in comparison to other countries. Anyway, so what I'm trying to do is open this and let's see what we've got. What's this? Looks like it might be some sort of sellotape or maybe it's something to do with PCBs, I don't know. Let's get something off and see. I think it's just some tape, masking tape or something, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe they've just thrown that in there, JLC PCB. Okay, but the actual boards, let's have a look at them. Okay. So here we are, we're in. And let's have a quick look at the packaging actually. What does it say? Nothing that's relevant really. Wow. That's very cool. I think I'll just take one of them out. And this is the main board, and this is version 4, which is my latest one. And it looks good. It looks very good actually. So in probably one of my next videos I'll uh, solder this up. So you can see that's where the USB32 goes in. Now it actually looks a little bit small, but I hope it's not. Let me just take one of the, take one of these components out. Just make sure. Now here's the board. Nope, it's perfect. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, so there's my new test board, and as you might be able to see, I've got test points on it now as well. I put new test points on. So I've added a few things as well. I've added the reset uh, switch if it, if I need to have it there. Uh, I've put all the resistors inside the space that would be underneath the SP32, and I've just labelled it a bit nicer. I've put the um, AMS1117 there, so that's also better. I put all the things along the side here, all the uh, for the LEDs. Yeah. So anyway, that's the that's the first board. That's the main board. What's the next board we've got? Let's put this away. This one. So, what's this one? This one is... Oh yeah, right. This one is the Modbus board. I should say down here, 
mod bus board V4. So that's where the Pro Mini goes, the resistors, different bits and pieces there. I've not labelled that for some reason. That's where the uh, RS-485 chip uh, module goes. I've got some spaces here for other things now. This is a new thing. I don't know if it's going to fit. I hope it does. Um, and it's for network. I want to be able to connect to the uh, charge controller using RJ45. Now, I haven't actually done the wiring fully because I don't know exactly where things are going to go. Because with RJ, uh, RJ45 there are 8 pins and I don't know which of the 8 pins goes to where at the moment. So what I've done is I've just left it like that with test points. But ideally these need to be connected. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get one of those and plug it in and see what it looks like and I hope it's going to fit. Okay here we go. Now I've never tested this before so uh, what I did do is I used a diagram and I, I used Design Spark with the diagram and uh, well you know try to get it right. Uh, and it's not right. Although it's not far off so what I've done is I've put those little holes there in the wrong place so the big holes are fine and the little holes are fine but this little anchor thing isn't fine, it needs to be re-drilled or, or bent out of the way one or the other so that's a pain but I, I, guess, I guess I'll just spread that out or drill it through or something probably uh, spread it out, let's just see if I just bend that out of the way There we go. So it's, yeah, it's not ideal, but it, it fits in like that. I'd have to re drill that one more time. They've run the wrong way. Don't know why I've done it that way. I, maybe it's a different model or something where they do, the holes do go through that way, I don't know. Anyway, that works. So the next thing is this. Now, I don't remember exactly what what was going on there. I'll have to find out. But anyway, the idea is that I can use um, an RJ45 cable straight to the charge controller, and uh, it will be better. It'll be a much better job. So anyway, that's that. I put that to one side. Um, and the next one, the last one, is the relay board. And it's in a different bag, which I'm not sure why, but whatever. These are the smallest ones, maybe they put the small ones in those bags. Yeah, you see? So this one, um, I think I made it a bit smaller. I added uh, some sort of termination resistor somewhere, I think. I oh, know that was on this board, I, I added that actually, termination resistor, the CC term. On this board, I think I switched the collector and the emitter because it wasn't working. Um, yeah, so there are my boards, and I'm very happy. Let's just get them together again. So, I've messed that up, haven't I? I've messed that up. But, it should still work fine. Let me just press these together. Like that. When it's soldered in place it should hold fine. Maybe I'll even put a bit of solder down that there. That should be fine. So yeah, there are my three boards. I think I'll just zoom in again. And there we go. So once again, um, thanks for watching my videos. I hope to do another one soon of me soldering these bits up. And then hopefully I can put it in place and test it. And um, hopefully it will be very good. Bye.